Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Natasha and I am currently living in my 2006 Jeep Wrangler. And right now I am in Arkansas. And Arkansas is already turning out to be one of those states that I knew I had like no initial desire to go to. But once I got here, I was like, it is so beautiful here. So it's gorgeous. I'm currently camping. It's a wildlife uh, management area, I believe. But it is, it's, it says it was a lake, but it looks like a swamp to me, but I love it. And I'm essentially on like this little island right now. So of course I did a little off-roading and found this other little secluded area. And so the way that this area has their campsites marked is they have put these blue rings around trees where they're allowing you to stay. I was worried coming here because it's Friday. I don't normally like to show up to new campgrounds unless I absolutely know like the deal with them uh, on Fridays because Friday's obviously a lot more busy and it's fall. So it's like the perfect time to be camping right now. So I feel like it's actually really busy. So I'm currently staying on a lake, which is right off, it feeds into the Arkansas River though. And so this is, um, I think it's maintained by the army and engineers or something like that. But I, on, so I've been here for three days now. I saw the sheriff yesterday, gave him a wave, he gave me a wave back. Later on yesterday, I had a new neighbor move in and he moved way too close to me, which I didn't like. And he looks like he crawled out of the mountain, like full beard, like full crazy hair. And when the sheriff rolled in today, he ran his plates and everything and then just gave me another friendly wave. So it just goes to show you that even out here, being a girl is definitely I look su less suspicious I guess is what it is the people may wonder what I'm doing out here but I don't look like that guy so the other thing about this place is I showed up here and there is a stray dog here and it has been here for the past three days and I just really it seems like somebody might have dumped her and that of course is really freaking sad so hopefully I've been talking to a couple of the local people that I've been seeing driving through here and asking and they said that they've seen her for a while and they also think the same thing that she was most likely dumped but I did talk to a couple of locals that said that they will ask around to see if people that they know are looking for a dog. So hopefully she will get rehomed. There was a family here that I was really hoping that we were going to take her with them because they had three kids that were playing with her the entire time. She's so sweet. So I got to this campsite a few days ago and when I got here, there was the cutest dog here and I would love to be able to take it with me, but unfortunately I just... I cannot have a dog right now and she's really big but I did talk to a couple of the locals and um you know I think we pretty much figured that she was dumped here and the one guy who did have a dog 
he was like, well, if she's here in a couple days, he was like, I'll make sure I find her a good home. So he already came back once too with somebody. I don't know if it was like a potential person that might've been taking it, but they didn't end up taking her. But he did say that he had a couple more people that he was gonna call. She's so sweet. You can tell that she definitely had a home at one time. She's so, she's been sleeping outside of my Jeep. I've at least been feeding her. She's definitely not starving by any means because she's very picky about what she eats from me. But it just, it's so unfortunate that people, like if you're gonna, like bring it to the pounds, you know, or ASPCA bring it to a no-kill shelter but like she's just such a sweet dog and she's been bouncing back and forth there was one other family that was here and i was actually really hoping he ended up coming back to i guess he left something at the camp so i thought he was gonna come back and grab her but i heard the kids saying that they wanted her so i'm really hoping i know they definitely live close because he went and dropped his camper off and he came back and got his boat and it was in very close proximity. So I'm really hoping that that family, that those kids talk their dad into coming back and getting that dog because I overheard him talking to the guy that I was talking to and he was like, take her, she's a great dog. So I'm really hoping that maybe they're home discussing whether they're able to take her or not because they had three kids and she was playing with them the entire time and she looked like she was having so much fun and she was so loved so i just really hope that they end up coming back and getting her and if not him then i know then hopefully that other guy that had the dog will find her a home so fingers crossed this was a super cute little campsite in arkansas um i honestly i, should, I guess i could count but the, each one has a fire ring, each one has a picnic table, and each one has like a little paved area as well too. So this would be a great area for RVs, vans, pop-ups, stuff like that. So, um, and I did ask one of the locals today because a lot of these places are getting closed down now for the winter. And he said it is open year round here. And he said that they actually tried to shut it down altogether, but the locals banned together and said they were gonna that they were gonna take care of it. I did see a parks people the parks people come through a couple of times, so I know that there definitely is a little bit of something that they do here. I'm not really sure. There is a pit house, but honestly, not ideal. Um, the girls is completely barricaded with garbage and the men's is, it doesn't smell in there. It's just like scary and there's like garbage and like random crap in there. So, but there is at least a pit toilet on premise and there's a boat launch as well too. So it's right off of 40. So if you are traveling, it was super easy to get to. And yeah, I also, I did not realize that Arkansas was like so much like swamp and bayou and marshland, but it's beautiful nonetheless. So I'm not mad about it, but I've been here for a few days. I'm probably going to head out tomorrow. I'm a few hours away from Hot Springs. I'm actually, I actually passed it on the way here, like where I was supposed to turn for it. But I think I'm going to go check out the national park tomorrow and then find somewhere to camp with the national forest over there. And then I'm gonna be heading to Oklahoma on Friday morning to go meet one of my girlfriends who I have been friends with on social media for like, I'm not even joking, seven, eight years, and we've never met in person. So I'm going to stay with her for the weekend and I'm looking so forward to it, meeting her whole family. She's got two kids, she's got two little boys and her husband. So I am super excited to spend the weekend in Oklahoma with some local people too, so. Oh,